What's up guys, Dana Lynn Bailey here, and today we are talking about the bench press. And we're also gonna really dive deep into why people arch, should you arch, is arching cheating? <laughs> is it bad for you? Are you gonna injure yourself? We're gonna go over all of those questions to debunk any myths and I'm gonna let you know why you should or shouldn't arch. Follow along. Dana Lynn Bailey. Let's go! Do what I do! Work like I still got something to prove! Let's go! All I do! Work like I still got something to prove! Oh! <laughs> I haven't even said a line yet. So I think the first thing I wanna talk about is Arching cheating. I've heard that from people uh, like you're that bench press doesn't count. You're arching. Guess what guys? <laughs> guess who actually gets scored on a bench press? Power lifters. And guess what they do? They arch. So as a power lifter, there are four points of contact that you have to have for a legal lift. One of those points of contact is not your lower back. So you have your four points of contact. You have your head has to be on, your upper back or traps have to be on, your butt has to be on, and your feet have to be on the ground. So as you're lifting, if one of those points of contact comes off the bench, let's say your butt, because sometimes when it goes heavy, uh, when you're going too heavy and you're pushing, you push too much with your legs and your butt comes off the bench, that is an illegal lift. But guess what doesn't get you in an illegal lift? Arching. The second thing I hear most about arching when you bench is you're gonna hurt yourself. It's unsafe. <sighs> Guys, I actually have three reasons why that is not true. All right, reason number one is Arching is actually a safer position for your shoulders. Believe it or not, arching protects your shoulders. Your humerus, this arm, there's a ball on the top and you need to keep it in the socket. And the way to do that is actually through arching. You're gonna pin your upper traps, your upper back into the bench, which as you come down, you're able to squeeze those shoulder blades down and back, which then helps drive that ball back into the socket and keep it there. When you are not arched and your back is flat on the bench, I'm not able to get keep that ball in the socket. So now I feel almost more of like a stretch. My elbows are now in front of my shoulders, which also makes for a weird bench, an awkward bench, and you'll start getting some pooling in your shoulder. So instead of being like this, you're gonna have your upper back in. Now you have room to drive your shoulder blades together and then keeping that elbow right underneath the bar the whole entire time. And by doing that, you're gonna keep your shoulder in its socket. And now my elbow is directly under the bar and then you press up. Number two is, think of like a different movement. Let's say a squat. Yes, you don't wanna arch your back during a squat. Why you don't wanna do that is because you're loaded axially. So you're, you're top to bottom loaded. So you're compressing your disc. So you want to try to keep your back in alignment as much as possible because if your discs are compressed and then all of a sudden you do this, now you've just made a kink. With a bench press, the weight's not on your back at all. It's up here on your face. <laughs> like if anything, your face is in danger if you just like drop the bar on you, but you're not actually loaded. So you're not compressing your spine at all. So you have really no, nothing to worry about as far as spine goes. All right, the last reason why arching is safe is it helps with stabilization. Your stabilizer muscles during a bench are your upper back and your lats, which 
are very responsible for decelerating the bar as it comes down. And the way you can do that is being in that retracted position so that you're able to retract your shoulders and keep that bar in that nice movement pattern. So, is arching unsafe? I think I've answered that question for you. That is debunked, arching is safe. So, the last thing I hear a lot is with arching, you're not doing full range. That's actually correct. You aren't doing full range reps. And the whole reason why people arch is to get a stronger bench because you're decreasing the range of motion. So for every inch that you can arch, that's one less inch that you have to bench. So that's the whole reason behind why power lifters do it. The bigger the arch, the less you have to move the bar. So you get bigger lifts. So I get it, I get that's why like the whole cheating thing comes in. But ask yourself this, when you're benching, do you care how much you're benching or does that not matter at all? For me, I actually want a bigger bench. Moving heavier weights, I'm still going to increase muscle size as I increase strength. The rest of the workout, you can do full range. So if you get on that incline bench, yeah, pump out full range on the incline. Pump out full range on your flies. The whole point of why power lifters arch is to get stronger bench, get higher numbers, build mass. And there are, there's tons of studies with like doing partial reps of stuff. If I can get partial heavy loaded weight, you can still increase muscle. I think it comes down to why are you benching? If you're benching just for pure hypertrophy, that's what machines are for, that's what f cables are for, that's what everything else is for, but like a standard bench, arch. It's safer, you're gonna be stronger, and I don't know, it's cool to see what numbers you can do. Alright, so now that you know that arching is not bad, it's actually safer for you, and you can put heavier weights on that bar and still get a good workout. So if you want to be stronger and you want to be safe, start arching. So I would like to go through how to actually set up a proper arch. So I always think of this like setting up for something heavy, like a bench press, a squat, a deadlift. You wanna do it the same exact way every single time, whether you have 85 pounds on the bar or 405. Everyone's setup is gonna be different. So you will find your own way of setting up. All right, I think the, the thing that's most important is your grip and like where to actually hold the bar. As far as placement on how wide you go, that's gonna be up to preference. But one thing I do do is make sure that my hands are even. So I do my thumb and then I go out as far as I possibly can. You can also use lines, like if you wanna start your pinky there, start your pinky there. Where you grip the bar is very important. Second thing is making sure everything is stacked up on top of each other for safety of your wrist. Bar should be stacked over your wrist, wrist should be stacked over your elbow. So where people go wrong is in their wrist. They turn their wrist back. So the bar is too high in my palm right now, which then makes my wrist go backwards. So what you wanna do is get that bar on the lower part of your palm. All right, so now that you have found your grip and you, you have the bar placed in your palm correctly, bar is over wrist, wrist is over elbow. You're now going to get your hips up nice and high. Push your traps into the bench. Pull your shoulder blades down and back. You'll then set your feet down on the ground as far back as possible, but keeping your feet flat on the ground. Drive your feet into the floor, down 
and away. So you're driving backwards. You're then gonna unrack the weight and this is when you bring your hips down. Once you bring your hips down, then you can bring the bar down to your chest. Chest will stay high, shoulder blades squeeze together, and then squeeze your butt and your quads and get that weight back up. All right, guys, I hope this video helps you get a little more knowledge into why arching is actually good for you and maybe you should start doing it. So without further ado, I bid you farewell. But if you want more information like this, come on over to dalenbailey.com. It is my official website where I give you all the tips and tricks and my daily workouts every single day. So click the link below and come join me so we can get big benches together. Yeah. <laughs>